If I can get my hands on any kind of fiction to do with alternate realities and the multiverse, I'm down. I'm all in. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be wrapping up the month of May, which was pretty busy and full on, and uh, managed to get through eight books for the month, which uh, was awesome, but I'll go into all that in a moment. But I always like to start off with some stats from the channel. So the amount of videos I put out uh, in May was 11, which tends to be my average, which isn't too bad. The amount of views, on the channel since I started has gone up to 6.1k which is okay and subs I'm sitting at 103. It did creep up to 106 but uh, I've accepted the fact that there are bots out there and sometimes YouTube come through and do a clean sweep and can remove some bots so well, I now have 103 genuine subscribers. Uh, the lowest performing video of the month was um, my update from last week, which was uh, my weekly update where I went and spoke about Top Gun Maverick, the movie I saw last week. Now, given that uh, I posted the video towards the end of the month, um, puts the stat out a little bit because uh, you know it hasn't gained traction yet and the month has gone. But the highest performing video was um, with 34 views was my uh, personal library tag which uh, I did which uh, gave everyone a little bit of insight into um, what my library is like and what I think of my library. So there you go. Alright so let's uh, start off with the books I read. Now I'll start off with the four books I read as part of the Horror Mayhem project that I participated in with uh, a variety of co-hosts and the project was created by the bookish Bryants. if you haven't checked out their channel I suggest you do they're uh, they're awesome and we participate in the project where every week we read a short work of fiction in a, a specific subgenre so week one was supernatural creature horror week two was gothic horror week three was cosmic horror and week four was folk horror now my picks were for the supernatural creature horror was the rats by james herbert which uh, really enjoyed that my gothic horror pick was the haunting of rookwood house by our very own australian horror author darcy coates uh, Cosmic Horror, I chose The Mist by Stephen King, which is a, a pretty good choice. I really had a blast with that. And for week four, Folk Horror, I chose another King classic, uh, the with Thinner by Richard Bachman, aka Stephen King. So they were all very good picks. I really enjoyed the project. I enjoyed all the books I read. It was a stark contrast to February Fantasy Stories, which was another project I participated in. Didn't quite enjoy that as much because um, I made the mistake of reading short stories instead of short novels and uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos I really have to be in the mood to read short story collections but uh, I tell you what Horror Mayhem was a blast I uh, completed everything I enjoyed all the books and uh, it was just nice to branch out into a specific subgenre for a change and just step slightly out of my comfort zone so it was a really enjoyable project and uh, sad to see that it's over all right, so let's get into the other books that I read this month. I finally managed to start Harry Potter. I read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and had a blast with that. Uh, my son had been uh, bugging me to read it and uh, I succumbed and uh, got stuck into it. He uh, kept saying, Dad, Dad, you've got to read Harry Potter, read Harry Potter, let's do a buddy read. Uh, so we did that and had a really, really good time with it. And I'll be reading um, Chamber of Secrets uh, probably this week, maybe, or the next week we'll see how the month goes. Uh, also read The Curfew by T.M. Logan, one of my newer, more recent favourite thriller writers. Uh, it was uh, a mind twist uh, mystery which just kept you guessing and guessing right till the end. A lot of red herrings and uh, misdirection thrown in there which T.M. Logan is brilliant at and uh, he's one of the authors I'll be doing uh, a potential new series called Author Spotlight uh, in the coming months as I look for new content to put out on the channel. I also read uh, The President is Missing by James Patterson with a collaboration with uh, former President Clinton. This was brilliant. Uh, I, I had a really, really good time with it. It read really, really quick and uh, it uh, was very authentic in terms of the presidential uh, politics and White House um, 
uh, culture and all that sort of thing which uh, made it really enjoyable so uh, really really enjoyed that and that brings us to my book of the month which uh, it was a hard choice this uh, month I'll be honest but uh, there can only be one winner for the month and that was The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. It's a book that uh, I've known about for a little while and I've wanted to read it. Um, how can I not because it uh, explores the possibilities of alternate realities and the multiverse and uh, one woman's uh, quest to find the perfect life and uh, it turns out there is no perfect life. Uh, she tries on heaps and heaps of lives. She uh, kills herself originally in her root life and between life and death there's a library that uh, she visits and within that library is uh, unlimited shelves with books of every possible decision she can make in order to start a whole brand new life. And the book largely explores all the possibilities that she has in order to improve her life and uh, the, the perils along the way that go with that. So uh, it was a, a real journey of self-discovery for the main character and uh, there were lots of chapters which I like and I read it very, very quickly and absorbed it um, uh, ravenously. Uh, couldn't get enough of it and that's what makes up uh, the criteria for a worthy book of the month and uh, yeah definitely give it five stars and uh, as I've mentioned in other videos I'm a sucker for alternate realities and the multiverse just love that shit can't get enough of it and uh, so glad I picked it up and read it all right so that is the book of the month now let's go into some immediate um, future channel plans that I've got coming up I've been having a look at things and um, there's one thing I want to do, given that I've finished uh, the Horror Mayhem project, I want to spend a bit more time on putting out a few more standalone uh, book review videos, rather than having the review within a weekly update video. I just thought um, I want to uh, segregate a book separately and talk about it separately rather than putting it in the weekly update. And I'm also going to follow a specific formula for reviewing a book. Normally I'm all over the place, but what I want to do is um, work to a specified format for a review so that I'm not leaving anything out. So I'll probably have some criteria like initial thoughts and reactions, summary of the plot, discuss the characters, discuss the narrative pace, and um, what I enjoyed and what I didn't enjoy about a book. And I think if I follow that formula, it makes things a little bit more consistent. So I plan on doing a lot more book reviews on the channel moving forward, which will be good. And uh, everyone can see uh, book reviews separately rather than waiting until the end of a weekly update video. In other plans, now you know I've been branching out a little bit and stepping outside my comfort zone and reading a few classics this year, which I've been really, really enjoying by the way. And I've decided to branch out even further and step even further outside my comfort zone by starting to read Western fiction. And I'm going to be putting out a video shortly. I've decided to um, uh, have a go at six Western authors I want to try this year. And uh, that's coming up hopefully in the next week or two where I share um, what authors I want to read in an attempt to explore the genre. Uh, there are a lot of good Western books that I've um, heard about on BookTube and uh, it's got me curious. And I thought, you know, not that I need any more books on my proverbial TBR to read, but I'm a glutton for punishment and uh, I've got some plans there. So uh, stay tuned for that one. And I'm going to be doing another reading vlog for the month of June, which I'm really, really excited about. I always enjoy those. They tend to get quite a few views, which is great to uh, share my thoughts and reactions um, all through the book. So not a question of reading the book and then reviewing it. It's my thoughts and reactions at different stages and it's all uncut and I don't have to pretty myself up for the camera or anything like that. So I like how um, it's a laid back format. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And with my weekly updates, uh, the format that's going forward, I'm going to be reviewing, uh, letting you know what I read in a single week and then what I'm going to read the next week because I've decided not to do TBR videos anymore. I um, don't want to put that pressure on myself. I used to have a stack of books there that I picked out for the forthcoming month. And uh, when you look at them, I found that I wasn't in the mood for half of them. So I've ditched that idea, starting with a clean slate for June and uh, have picked up uh, a classic. Uh, I'm reading Harper Lee's 
To Kill a Mockingbird. So I've just started that last night and uh, picked it up on a whim. I thought, well, what am I going to read this month? And just picked it uh, without having any pressure of uh, making myself read a predetermined stack of books. So uh, there we go. Also on the channel, I'm going to be putting out a few more uh, top tens top 10 videos and uh, look at other tags as well and just uh, spice things up a bit. Uh, I don't have the amount of subscribers yet where I can go to everyone and say what do you want to see on the channel um, so it's very difficult to gauge that at the moment so I'm just trying different things seeing what gets the uh, the best views and the most views and working from there as I eventually hit a thousand subscribers no doubt I'm going to be in a position where I can uh, take it to the people and ask what do you want to see on the channel and uh, if I get enough responses uh, in the future well uh, the channel content may change a little bit but uh, it's tracking along okay as it is and I'm happy with how the channel's going and um, you know, it is a slow burn and it's going to take um, uh, a little while to get to uh, a thousand subscribers it could take two years three years five years doesn't matter uh, I'm really enjoying the um, creativity uh, from the channel, putting out the content, and especially enjoy uh, creating the thumbnails for each video, which um, is great. So there you go, guys. That is it for the month of May. I'm really looking forward to June. A whole clean slate. Reading blog coming up, and uh, I can't wait to share that with you. And uh, as I said, the six Western authors I want to try, I'm going to put that video out hopefully in the next week and share with you uh, the authors I've chosen to uh, dive into the genre of westerns. So there you go guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate um, you coming on board and as always please like and subscribe and if you have any feedback put it down in the comments below and I'll always respond to that and uh, yeah there you go. Thanks for watching guys and until next time see you later.